scallops can seem intimidating to get just right, but we're here at Napa Valley Grill with Chef Taylor Boudreau, who's going to teach us how to make his California wine country inspired pan seared scallops like a pro. So Chef, what do we do to get started? Well, first off, uh, you gotta have scallops. We've picked out some beautiful U10 scallops. Now tell our viewers what U10 means. Uh, when you have a U10 scallop, it's gonna be about 10 to a pound. So it's, it has to do with, with how big they are. If you wanna look for a scallop that is intact, it's not falling apart, they should smell fresh like the ocean, they, right. they smell like fish, then you should probably not buy those. Right? Okay, all right, let's get started. Are you ready? All right, so first thing we gotta do here, so while we're waiting for our pan to get hot, we're going to go ahead and just season up the scallops with a little bit of uh, kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. You can use white pepper if you like. Get both sides. And the idea of searing the scallop is really going to get that nice crust on the outside, but then leave a nice soft middle, right? Absolutely. We're okay. going to create some caramelization mm -hmm. so you get a little bit of texture. Add in our olive oil to the pan, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And we've got this on a high heat. And as soon as we put our scallops in, we're going to turn the heat down to medium, all right? And you should really hear that nice sizzle on the scallop. And always add your oil to a hot pan. And what that does is it helps season your pan um, so that you're creating a nonstick surface. Great. All right, so I'm gonna just turn these down to a medium. And how long are our scallops gonna go for? We're gonna turn these 90 degrees uh, about every 90 seconds. 90, 90. All right, okay. and so and we're just gonna, we're gonna cheat them and, and look and see, mm -hmm. and when we have a nice, beautiful caramelization on it, that's when we know we're done. And we don't want to fuss with them yet, right? No, we not wait really. Wait until you know. So we're already starting to get some color on there. Okay. All right. So we're just going to give it a turn real quick. This is definitely not one of the dishes that you can leave while you're in the kitchen. You really no, got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, but it's so quick, the whole process. So as you can see, he's just turning them. We haven't flipped them yet. Just turning them, making sure we're getting a nice crust. Yeah, flipping them is the, my, the best part, right? Because then we actually get to start basting them. So that's a beautiful scallop there. Perfect. Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. All right, so we flipped our scallops. We're going to take some fresh thyme. We'll take a garlic clove. You want to break the garlic clove with the palm of your hand so it releases the oils. And then we're going to take uh, some butter. I love what a rustic around. approach you take to virtually all of your dishes, but this is really nice. Don't have to fuss with the thyme. So we're gonna wait for the butter to brown. And make sure that the, uh, the garlic and the thyme gets some nice, gets coated in that hot oil and it'll, it'll open up and release a lot of the, the natural oils. We're gonna brown the butter so that the butter creates a nice nutty flavor to the scallops. And then we're just gonna baste them. You know, the hot oil is just gonna help cook it from the outside in. And if you know if your butter gets too brown, just remove it from the heat. But we're actually in good shape here. Now tell me why you chose thyme. I love the flavor, and in classical French cooking, it's just a, it's a great flavor profile for finishing anything. And that is that. So we're just going to pull those off, let those sit for a second. The first element that we have is a parsnip puree. And then we also have some caramelized fennel. So you got your scallops, they're all done. But you, what you wanna do is you wanna just pat them on a towel real quick before you put them on your plate. And that'll get rid of any excess oil that's, that's sitting on them and it won't run all over your, your plate. For a garnish, uh, we're going to make a uh, beautiful upland crest salad. All right, were well, you ready to try yes. it? Yes. Yeah, great. Where's my fork? I cannot wait. Well, you can't enjoy scallops without a little white wine. This is a Semillon. It's a, a very food-friendly wine, so it's going to balance out perfectly with all the flavors that we have going on the plate. Great. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Incredible. It's sweet, it's salty. It's a great way to kind of elevate the whole dining experience. Chef, thanks so much for teaching us how to make your pan seared scallops. That uh, was my pleasure, anytime. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. And thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Food.